Democracy is dead in Europe. The message from Brussels today was loud and clear. If you have views that we don't like, we'll send the police in to shut you down. Those views, by the way, are the views of the majority. Controlling immigration, putting nat national interests first, lowering taxes, pushing back on climate lunacy. Here are the scenes from the National Conservatism Conference in Brussels. There we go. The old boys in blue, they were sent in by a red in the bed. The socialist mayor of Brussels, on top of a variety of different other mayors around principalities in Brussels, but this one is Philippe Close. Now, he actually hosted the ultra-radical former Iranian parliamentary turned mayor of Tehran in Belgium's capital last year. So he's got good taste, isn't he? This guy certainly knows what's right and what's wrong. So he's all right with actual fascists, then. People with hardline fundamentalist views. That man called Ali Riza Zakani, who was sanctioned by the UK for serious human rights violations and abuses. But he can't stand people like Suella Bravman or Nigel Farage. Well, here was Nigel's take at the time. Three police there, they have an order to close down this event, and when more police gather, that's exactly what they'll do. No alternative opinion allowed. This is the updated new form of communism. Well, he teed off on the mayor as well. Oh, I'm sorry. It's before the watershed. I really can't tell you what I think. He must be, he, he must be the most ghastly little person. Well, even the Belgian prime minister has come out against the socialist fanatics, saying... What happened at the Claridge today is unacceptable. Municipal autonomy is a cornerstone of our democracy, but can never overrule the Belgian constitution guaranteeing the freedom of speech and peaceful assembly since 1830. Banning political meetings is unconstitutional, full stop, making reference there to the municipal mayors that also all stepped in to try and shut this down. But get this, the Labour Party in Britain, the party that could be about to rule over us for five years, they think the abolition of free speech, cancel culture and sending the police in to clamp down on views they disagree with is absolutely hilarious. Source close to the right honourable member for Fareham, who couldn't be here today with us, Mr Deputy Speaker, because she's currently in Brussels, surrounded by uh, the police who are trying to sh shut down the event she's attending with some far-right fanatics um, with whom she has much in common. Um, she said that she is not a fan of the bill. Well, now she knows how the rest of us feel about the right honourable member for Fareham too. Hmm, OK. Wouldn't be a laughing matter if it was the other way around, there, would it? And Labour's Jonathan Ashworth is playing a very dangerous game in this clip here. I think some of the speakers, from what I understand, who have been advertised on the website for this conference have very unsavoury views. I'm rather surprised that Suella Braverman's been allowed to go and speak at this event. Why is Rishi Sunak not getting a grip of this situation? Why is he not asking Suella Braverman to pull out of this event? Because some of the characters involved at least according to their website, have made all kinds of comments which I don't think the Rishi Sunak's Tory party would want to associate themselves with. Ah, well, bingo. Hang on a minute, because Labour MPs are allowed to attend hate marches where swastikas and genocidal chants are common. It's almost like it's one rule for them and one rule for everyone else, isn't it? But we've seen it before from the socialists. Justin Trudeau in Canada, Jacinda Ardern as well in New Zealand, they behaved like tin pot dictators during COVID, revelling in the power, smashing, criminalising and demonising anyone who got in their way. Look, today is a very dark day. There is nothing funny about the fact that if you have the wrong kind of views in Western Europe, the ruling elite will send the police round to shut you down. It is Soviet-style tactics. They are not the good guys.